So, I made it to the Tahoe Rim Trail. You can pretty much start anywhere since it's a loop, and uh, this is where I'm beginning. I'm going to go counterclockwise around that loop for no particular reason at all. Just whatever I'm feeling. So this is both my starting point and it will also be my end point. I hadn't really planned much before starting this hike. Even where I would start was a decision I made the day before. I had spent most of my energy looking into weather, checking on nearby fires, and frankly, Given the relative short length of a 170 mile trail, I felt that was good enough. So here I am, walking the circumference of the largest alpine lake in North America, more than 2 million years old, and sitting more than a mile high in elevation. The trail travels through the high peaks around the lake, never dipping below 6,000 feet of elevation, and its highest point is somewhere above 10,000 feet. The eastern side, from what I hear, is much more dry while the west is littered with streams and lakes, which I'm very much looking forward to. I'm not so concerned about water out here, but maybe I should be. I am, after all, starting with the dry side first. Looking at my maps, it seems there's at least two sections coming up where I may be in for a 17 mile waterless stretch. So, yesterday was kind of a strange day. I wound up forgetting, like, half of my food in my car. <laughs> I was packing food to hike this entire trail just on one resupply. So now I'll just resupply in Tahoe City. No big deal, but you know, it was uh, a little bit mentally draining to realize an hour into my hike that, oh, I don't have any food on me. <laughs> but uh, so far the trail's really beautiful. I've just been hiking through these big pine trees. You know, I have these like big views every so often. and. I think coming out here, uh, you know, it is a shorter trail, so I am testing out some like different gear choices and seeing how stuff works and, you know, maybe preparing myself in little ways for uh, bigger trails, you know, maybe Pacific Crest Trail or Continental Divide Trail. And also, I'm coming out here to do this trail fairly quickly. You know, certainly I stop and I check out and I hang out in these beautiful locations, these beautiful vistas, but you know, the majority of my day is spent walking. Here goes, Tahoe Rim Trail in about five days. Let's see how that goes. Off to a weird start though. <laughs> but I guess it's always gonna be a weird start. I figure every single trip, every single time, there's always gonna be a little mistake. And it's just how you deal with making that mistake. <laughs> so I think way off in the distance, you can barely even see them, but those mountains, those big ones, that is where I started my journey. I didn't realize it, because uh, I don't really look at the map unless I need to, but those views are from the highest point on this trail. <laughs> so I just went up and over the highest point and didn't really even know. I think in the beginning, I was a little concerned of how much I would like this trail. You know, it's obviously very well constructed and very well built. I think maybe that was one of my concerns. Is it too well constructed and well built? <laughs> that does that remove some of the adventure from the from the journey. 
but you know now that I'm getting into it and every day I'm staring at this lake and you know I'm just really loving that here you have this giant feature this massive feature that would take me you know probably an entire day just to drive around it wouldn't even be like an easy drive and here I get to walk all the way around it you know 170 something miles around Lake Tahoe it really is a pretty fantastic thing you know I'm sure Lake Tahoe can be seen from space and to to be able to traverse the edges of such a lake the mountain ranges surrounding it is uh, something I'm enjoying more and more as the hours go by. Hiking this trail in five days comes out to more than 30 miles every day, which over time I've come to love doing. It no longer feels as difficult or unobtainable. I still feel some fatigue, but if I do things right, it feels normal to be this way. Every morning I wake up at 5.30 a.m. and I'm walking by 6. I stop briefly for water and aim to have more than 10 miles done in the first four hours of my day. Sometime around noon I may stop for a longer break, but I'm usually happier when I just keep walking. Every hour I eat something while I walk. I brush my teeth while I walk, check my maps while I walk, and try to keep that forward movement consistent. It doesn't matter how slow I go, just that I keep going. Every step forward is a step I don't need to take back. So last night I slept on accident. <laughs> I just happened to stop at my halfway point. It's kind of interesting just everyone beginning this trail in so many different places. It is a loop after all, but I'd say the majority of people start in Tahoe City and make their way clockwise. So I'm more than halfway done. And uh, today, I've actually merged paths with the Pacific Crest Trail, which has been super interesting and just immediately beautiful and wonderful and just has all these great feelings of the PCT. I don't know, it, it's probably not that much different, but it just feels different to be on the west side of the lake. I'm really excited for what's to come and uh, hopefully it's good stuff. But yeah, doing well out here. Halfway done. This trail has many wonderful things about it, but something I can't stop thinking about is how wonderful it would be to use this as a preparation for the much larger 2,650 mile Pacific Crest Trail. In a much more manageable dose, you get the same environments of the high peaks and dry switchbacks. Similar challenges with the lack of water and elevation. The same beauty of the high alpine lakes and towering western mountains. And yet, the trail is short enough that you could do it in a vacation's time away from work. Learn how your body reacts to walking all day, sleeping on the ground, and whether you're happy with your gear or not. The trail has enough towns that you can learn the basics of resupplying or even hitchhiking. And you will see enough other hikers to get a feel for the community. Surely, anyone who aspires to hike the PCT would benefit greatly from doing this trail.
first. Today is my last day on trail. I have uh, 22 miles until I'm done. It's exciting to be so close to the end and, you know, have another trail and more experiences. And just everything this area and this landscape has had to offer. I know being out here is always better than not being out here. It's been a fantastic experience and overall just makes me a stronger hiker. So just a few more hours to go. Well guys, I have about one mile left. One mile left until I have walked all the way around Lake Tahoe. Feels pretty good. I feel like every time I come and do something in a new environment, I'm always learning more. And this trail is certainly no exception. Which you'd think after 11,000 miles of hiking, I would have that totally dialed in, but there's always something. Always something new I wanna try, always something small that's bugging me or something that I feel like I can do better for that I am extremely grateful of what Lake Tahoe and its uh, surrounding mountains has taught me so here's to the last mile of my trip walking among the pines on top of some big mountain uh, that people ski on in the winter Soon I will be back in my car and making my way somewhere else. Well, this is it. This is where I started my hike. And I've made it all the way back. So, that's it. That is the Tahoe Rim Trail. 170 miles around Lake Tahoe in uh, really, really beautiful places. I now have a half mile side trail to hike down to get back to my car. And uh, then I am officially done. But I feel officially done already. So we don't need to worry about that extra little bit. <laughs> Hello, my little car. There it is. 